what is up guys subtrix here and welcome back to my channel so in this video i'll be talking about all the universities that i applied to for my graduate studies so let's go okay so all the universities that i applied to are in the usa i did not apply to any other country now i'll try to provide the ranks of the universities taken from a few popular ranking websites i will also try to provide the average estimates the costs or tuition fees plus living expenses of those universities taken from the university websites now these costs are only for graduate studies so if you want to see the undergraduate studies for for any other programs i will link it down in the description you can go and check it out yourself so let's start the list with the ambitious universities first so the first and topmost university in my list is university of california san diego now university of california is like the world's leading and largest public research university system it has a total of 10 campuses and UCSD ranks third in it after UC Los Angeles and UC Berkeley. It's situated in San Diego. It's one of like the biggest cities in California. So opportunities galore. It has a great CS faculty and it has some cutting edge research, ongoing research going on in most major fields of CS like artificial intelligence, machine learning, bioinformatics, robotics. The program I applied over there is MSCS that is Master of Science in Computer Science. Actually. I applied for Master of Science in Computer Science programs in to all the universities. So, yeah. So here are a few facts about UCSD. Okay, moving on to the next university is University of Massachusetts Amherst. So it is a great university with great faculty for CS, and it's located in Amherst, which is like a few hours from Boston, a major CS hub. Now Amherst was rated like one of the best college towns in the US. The fees at UMass Amherst is a bit steeper than its other counterparts. That concludes the ambitious list. Now let's move on to the moderate list of universities. The first university in my moderate list is University of California, Irvine. Now for this part, I was split between UC Irvine, UC Davis and UC Santa Barbara. I did not know which one to do, but after going through their websites, I found UC Irvine to be the fit for me so i did uc Irvine. so uc Irvine is also a great university beautiful campus and lots of world class programs to choose from and a very distinguished cs faculty some facts about uc Irvine up on the screen right now okay so the next university is north carolina state university or nc state it is located in raleigh which is like the second biggest city in the state of north carolina it is also close to the famous Research Triangle Park, which is like the biggest tech park in North America. So, you know, opportunities plenty. Okay, so the next university I applied to is the Arizona State University. It's a pretty popular destination for Indian MS aspirants. It's a very high ranked university. Its CS program is very well ranked and it has been voted like the most innovative university in the US. Some facts about it. Okay, so the next university in my moderate list is Indiana University at Bloomington. It is situated in Bloomington, the third largest city in the state of Indiana. Its academics and CS programs are highly ranked. Its CS and DS data science programs are well known across the world. And also it has like a beautiful campus. So that concludes the moderate list of universities. Now let's move on to the safe list of universities. So the first university in my safe list is University of Texas at Dallas. Again, a very popular choice among Indian MS aspirants. It's second in line in the University of Texas system of universities coming after UT Austin. Many people select uh, Texas as a destination for their master's study because Texas, many people, they get in-state tuition waivers if they apply to Texas universities and UTD tops the list among them. Okay, so the next university is Georgia State University. It is located in Atlanta, the largest city in Georgia. Now, I wanted to do Georgia Tech, but according to my profile, Georgia Tech would have been too ambitious. So I went with Georgia State because it's a very decent university, great programs, great academics, great faculty, and it's located like in the heart of Atlanta. So like surrounded by many big IT companies. So opportunities plenty after you graduate. The next university is University of California, Riverside. And by now, you must know, like, I really, really love UCs. So it's a very good university for CS programs, and it's highly sorted by international students. Some facts about UC Riverside.
okay and the last university is, is california state university at long beach now honestly this was the first university that i applied to like it was the time when i had just gotten my tofl and gid scores and my transcripts and everything was ready and i just wanted to apply to a university so i thought of like let's just do an university which i can easily get in so california state university system of university seemed like a good choice and out of that i chose long beach now california state university long beach it's not very high rank neither its cs program is not very high rank but it's still a good university many people go to it and they make their careers in cs so why not so yeah that ends the list of all the universities that i applied to for my graduate studies in cs in the united states of america i hope this list helps you in some way and uh, if you like this video give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe like a snare and and i'll see you guys in the next one till then peace out